Wakey wakey eggs and bakey. My name is Waffles the Asian Yenbear and today we're going to be playing Pokemon the trading card game online. Doing some beginner stuff because I have taken quite a long break from this game and my current girlfriend and I decided we would hop back in with new accounts. As you can see that my thing is level zero over there so that we are both on the same level and having to grind out everything but I do have this theme deck which has been pretty decent and we're gonna try to get some matches with that. I figured it would be nice to try to bring this to the channel, uh, it's gonna be uncut, that's kind of the big rule for me today is I want to make sure that I'm not going through and editing it like crazy like I do with the Bioshock stuff because I do like bringing those videos but they also take forever for me to actually edit them and I kind of miss the more calm just playing game for a little bit okay that's cool I will take victory I kind of missed the calm just play the game for a bit uh, and then post it on YouTube and seemed like when I switched up my format you guys kind of liked that too and missed it so hopefully this will be the best of both worlds Bioshock 2 is eventually coming it's just I would prefer the channel not to be dead for two months while I work on that but anyways as I said, I am a beginner in this again. Uh, I do know how to play the card game, and I was looking at the different theme decks, and I do really like this Lunawa one. We'll go ahead and we'll take a look at it at the end, uh, or you'll just see it while we play. I'm not actually 100% sure how I want to do that yet, but I do know at the end we're going to open some packs because I do have some saved up. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put Litlick out there, uh, so land it on the bench. And since, just since we, oh, you did not need to see the audacity. Shit. Well, that's alright. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to bring Litwick out first and hope for the best. Ooh, Mimikyu. Let's go ahead and nest ball, grab the Cosmog. Boom. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start setting up Cosmog, and Litlick might have to die, but that's okay. Panpour is going to be doing 20 each time. Okay, this isn't, doesn't seem like it's such a bad deck, but hopefully I can just overrun it with my Lunala. I think this theme deck's whole point it's supposed to be the Alolan Ninetales which if I remember from seeing it it just prevents GX and EX attacks which nobody has those in theme so it's fantastic oh it looks just gonna die immediately what 10 oh cuz Kukui right Kukui is a thing okay I always mispronounce that by the way if you're typing that in the comments I am sorry that I mispronounce it and it's just a thing that happens so Hopefully I can draw a Stuffle or Cosmoem. I'm gonna try to go for Flinch, Filch, Filch. Is that a? Does that say Filch? It does. I thought it said Flinch. I'm gonna have to find out what that word means. Okay. Well, hopefully again I can draw Cosmoem. I've got the Luna on hand. Uh, maybe even one of the special Pokeballs would be nice. That draw Timer Ball. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yes, Timer Ball. As you can see, it has been a while, so... Kukui is going to make him just take out my Mimikyu, which is a little sad for me, actually. He's just taking out one Pokémon after another, so... Hopefully we'll get some good luck early on. Does not seem like it, which is a little sad, but that's alright. I could have put maybe a Fire Energy on to land it, but 10 is not going to be very much, and it's just going to be Oko this turn. So I was hoping for something like a timer ball, but unfortunately I do not think we're going to get that lucky. This deck so far has been performing pretty decently, about as decently as you can expect from theme decks, but you know, sometimes you end up with not the best hands, and a thing with these theme decks I've noticed just from the ones I've played so far is that a lot of it very heavily depends on your draws, there's not a whole lot of ways to improve the consistency outside of just hoping you draw into good cards, which is not exactly the best strategy, but it's what we got. So it's alright. So, Cosmos didn't come out. Let's go ahead, 
Not gonna grab Cosmo M, so I think that is game for us. Let's just go for the dust gathering just to see what we would have drawn. But I will take that game and we'll be fine. It would have been another energy. Okay, so yeah, definitely was not our lucky game, I guess, but that's alright. We'll get another one. But hopefully, you guys will enjoy this video. Um, it'll be nice to start bringing stuff back because I do want to be making videos. I really do enjoy that, but I do like putting in the work for the other kinds of videos, like the Bioshock ones. Oh, really? He's just gonna do that? Okay, that's fine. You can finish me off with a Kingdra. It is quite alright. But, I like making the Bioshock type videos, but it also takes a little too much time given that I've been working and such lately, so it makes it a little more difficult. But, hopefully these kind of like play sessions will be still pretty good and hopefully you guys will like them. So. This uh, starter deck is called Hidden Moon, by the way. If you guys want to take a quick look before we grab it, another match. We've got the whole Goth of Vita here, Lampant. Uh, this is the main thing, Lunala here. We've got Shatter Shot, does 40 damage times the amount of Psychic Energy, and Wings of Moon. But I think most times you're going to be using Shatter Shot. Um, and then we've also got Beware, which is going to help us draw some cards. Does help the speed of the deck a little bit. And then Slazzle, I've noticed, comes in clutch sometimes, uh, giving that burn and poison, but it hasn't actually done too much for me. So I tend to not focus too much on Slazzle, it's more just the Beware and the Lunala. But we hope for the best. So this one, Crimson Invasion, the Clanging Thunder, I've also heard is a good theme deck, but I have not actually played against it yet. So this will be a learning experience for both of us. If you are a beginner to this game, it is actually very beginner friendly from what I've noticed. There is a little bit of grind, but you can get a lot of packs really easily. And... Wow, I had a sentence there. Yes, and, there we go. And, um... It's easy to learn how to do the trade economy thing, which I've been working on trying to get better at. But right now I need some more packs to actually trade for that. So. I'm thinking we could maybe try to set up the Venner Shock since he doesn't have anything on his bench. And maybe just try to wear the shallows down, but uh, hopefully he won't be able to get any other basic Pokemon in this turn. But we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I still don't have Cosmo on, but I still have the Lunala first turn, which is a little weird. I'm usually uh, more used to not getting Lunala and getting the Cosmo on instead. But, uh, 10 more damage. Okay, that's fine. Louis gonna want him to draw some more cards. That is still fine by me. Unfortunately, he does have another Pokemon on the bench now. So, Mudslap's gonna do 20, unfortunately. But that's alright. Let's get stuff on the bench. Hopefully, hopefully soon I can draw into maybe like a How? Get some energies, maybe an evolution, or into a beware, so I can draw a little bit more cards. I'm not a huge fan of starting with an entire handful of Pokemon and one energy, but let's do our best with that. So, the Alolan Raichu here, Psychic does 20 more damage times the amount of energy it tests you. Oh, that's going to be painful. Okay, that's fine. It'll work. Okay. So... I think still my best bet here is I'm going to be taking 20 each turn, but he's going to take 20 as well. So boom, has 40 left. I'm going to have 20, boom, 20. All right, I'll survive with 10. And then the low one right is going to come in. So I've got two turns, essentially. Unless he gets something like the Kukui. Then that would be a little bit damning for me, but that's okay. Got Jangmo already out. Um, the one Raichu is being set up. Oh, he does have Kukui. Okay, that does throw things off a little bit. Just a teeny tiny bit, and I think that actually will Oko the Slandit. Yep, there he goes. Bye, Slandit. All right, I'm gonna have to just let Cosmog come out and die, and hopefully we draw something. Let's see. Switch. That's not at all helpful. Sorry, deck. Please, please give me something decent. Or we're just going to watch him build up his entire bench. He's already got Hakamo. 
and the Alolan Raichu is completely set up, ready to go. Let's see. Alright, I got a Psychic Energy, that's kind of something. I'm gonna give it to Cosmo, just in case I grab Cosmo Limb. I feel like this deck has decent comeback potential, though, if you can get a Lunala set up. I'm just a little worried because the Raichu will just destroy me. Just a teeny tiny bit. Oh, there's the Como. Let's see, Clanging Scales, and the Clanging next turn. If you have fewer Pokemon in play, okay. So I need to watch how many Pokemon he has in play as well. Let's get the Gastrodon out. Okay. I think he just attached an energy. So it should be fine. Um, but yeah, I need to watch how much Pokemon I have in play so that I don't get hit by that War Cry. But Timer Ball is going to be a little helpful. Hopefully I can get at least one head, preferably two for the Beware. Nope. That's okay. I think I need to go for the Cosmo M. Um, and by the way, if I'm mispronouncing any of these names, my bad. It just happens sometimes. So, hopefully now we can draw into some energies, or beware, or literally anything to give me more cards would be great. Oh man. He's got two guys set up right here. How would be nice too. So, I need to have three energy on Lunala to take out Alolan Raichu. Ooh, that'll help a little bit, actually. So if I need 3 energy to take out a Wolan Raichu, he's gonna do 70 plus 60, 130. Linoa would survive it by 1, and then Hakamo'o could come out and finish it off, which would be a little sad. Hmm. It would definitely be a little sad. I'm wondering if I should switch out the Linwell and get it over there. I don't really want to take any excess damage though. Let's see, early fluid makes me confused. Okay, that's fine. I'm not attacking anyways. Alright, so I want to make sure that I have less Pokemon than he does. So this should still be fine. Gastrodon's gonna take out the Cosmog this turn. I'll have to offer a Stuffle, I think. He can also do the Clanging Scales, but that's not as big of a deal. I'm more worried, to be honest, about the War Cry, because I can play around that, as opposed to just, you know, taking a big 130 hit. Also, I do apologize if I am not making the most optimal plays. Again, it has been quite a while since I've actually played this game, uh, and still, this will be kind of a learning experience for me and for you, hopefully, if you are new and watching this, because I think I'm going to throw a beginner in the title, maybe. Oh, okay. Well, here. You can just have my stuffle. Just take my stuffle, take it, and end me. I'm sure. I've got the switch, so I am going to bring Lunala out. Um, and hope that I can draw a Psychic Energy, but if I don't, I'll just give him Stuffle, and, uh, and Stuffle will die. And it'll be a sad day, but it'll be a day. Okay, Alter the Moon. It would be nice to get rid of his Stadium, so let's go ahead and do that. Still, I was definitely hoping to have something a little different. That's okay. So, Stuffle's gonna come out, it's gonna die. Um, if I stayed in, I could have done 80 damage and killed it the next turn, but I would prefer not to take damage so that when the Como comes in, then I can live one hit, which would be fantastic. Because if I switch in on my turn, do the first damage on the Lolan Raichu, take it out in one hit, then the Como comes out, and then I can survive against that. And then, uh, how much does it have? 160? Then if I draw another Psychic Energy, then I can take that out. So it should be fine. So Stuffle, bye. I need two Psychic Energies. In a row. That is not a Psychic Energy. Oh, that is sad. Okay. Well, I will Shatter Shot. And I think we've lost this one. I think we've lost this one. That is unfortunate. Potion. 
<laughs> okay. I will just... I'll heal that extra 30 damage. That'll be very beneficial in the long run, I'm sure. Alright. Bye, Raichu. Give me my first prize card. It's a psychic energy. That would be... That would have been great a little while ago. Okay. Goodbye, Raichu. And now Konmo comes out and ends my life. Go for the clanging skills. Do it. There it is. Boom. Look at that effect. Alright. So that's a good game. I will say well played. Can I do that? Oh, nope. I have to do that a little bit earlier. Okay. Learning. We are learning. Alright. One game that I am going to be bringing to the channel, hopefully, I always say things and then I don't actually do them, but hopefully I will actually follow through and bring Duel Links to the channel, because I've been obsessed with that game for the past, like, year or so. I don't know, it slowly has pulled me in uh, over the last year, and I stopped playing Pokemon because of it, because I was just always playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So, now that it's on Steam, I can actually bring it to the channel. You can have some fun playing around with different decks in King of Games. I do have a decent amount of them, so we won't have to be playing with the beginner themed decks. Ooh, okay, this is not a bad hand. I'll take this. I will definitely take this. We are going to lead with a Stuffle, but I'm not 100% sure which Stuffle I want to lead with. The left or the right? We'll go with the right. Alright, but the Mental Might deck, I actually know what that's about. There will be no surprises there, we just have to build faster than he can get the Glades out, so... Just depends on our luck here. Hopefully we can build it up something faster. Uh, we do have um, easier searching ability with this deck. So assuming I land on the right things, we should be fine. I'm gonna grab a Lunala though, and hope that I can grab Cosmog with Howl or any of the other cards. Like Nest Ball. If I get a Nest Ball, that would be great. I do grab Cosmog. Perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to start building up Cosmog a bit. We'll go Beware next turn to draw three. He's got a Ralts, but I do not see any Milk Tanks, which is good. Pokemon Fan Club, he could grab those now. But that only leaves three possible cards to be the Glade and the Curlia. So, it is a little unlikely. And I'm going to hope for the best. He's got 44 cards still left and 3 in the hand. Okay, so 3 out of 45, it's unlikely that he drew into it. This guy's going to take at least 3 turns before he can actually kill me. He can hit me with 20 and then 50 in a row. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and go right into the stuff will beware. Draw 3 cards. None of which are going to be psychic energies, which is a little sad. Just a teeny bit. That's okay. I'll give it to Beware. I might as well. And then we'll evolve Cosmog. Because that's the best thing to do. And I will end my turn. Okay. So, if he brings out the Glade, I think I only need two Psychic Energies on Lunala to Oko Glade. Uh, just because Glade is weak to the Psychic as well. Um, Milk Tank I think has 100, so I need 3. That's fine. He does not paralyze me, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll evolve Lamp it just in case. And I still do want to set up Beware because it can Oko the um, Milk Tank later on if he decides to go for the Milk Tank. I'm not going to drop Lunala just yet. He shouldn't have anything that can actually hit my bench, but I don't know, it's more of a precautionary thing. Just in case. But even though I know the deck and it has no way of doing that, I don't know. My logic does not make a whole lot of sense sometimes. You just kind of have to go with it. So, okay. My question now is do I want to bank on the fact that I draw an energy? I do not. I have Alter the Moon, so I can get no retreat cost Cosmog, so it should be fine. Okay, I did not draw Psychic Energy. I'm going to go ahead, um, who do I want to retreat into? Lampent. Oh, Lampent wouldn't be great, but he survives one hit. So he'll essentially give me two turns to draw into another energy. I could also not reveal Alter the Moon and use Teleport. Which I guess would be better. Yeah, let's go ahead, we'll do that. 
So I'm going to teleport. I'm going to give him Lampant. Uh, just to stall two more turns. He still does not have the Glade or the Curlia, which is great. He could have the Glade in hand, but he doesn't have the Curlia, which is helpful. If I draw one Fire Energy, Beware is fine. Or even a Psychic Energy, Beware is fine. Uh, if I can draw multiple Psychic Energies, that would be great for the Luna Lock combo. So, our board presence is a little better, even if he does have us on the ropes. And he also has no energies attached to the Ralts, which is very nice. Or she, I guess, technically, up there. I didn't even look at the avatar. I should probably say hello. How do I do that? There we go. Hello. Okay. So give me some energies. Yeah, alright. I will take that. You have a good deck. Oh, that's sweet. Um. There we go. I'll give him the face. Yeah. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead. I've got Beware set up now, so he should be able to Oko with the... Ooh! This person's really nice. That might have been coming off too strongly. Okay. Anyways. Beware can destroy the Furfru. Delcaddy comes out. Hopefully he can't paralyze me to death. Hopefully. But Beware will definitely stall some turns for me while we try to turn this around. And I do have a potion, which is nice. Okay. So... What's the little thing for Beware right now? Damage from this Pokemon is increased. Oh, because it's dangerous ball. Got it. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to evolve the Gothita just because I want her to not think that I have Lunala. Maybe she'll not be worried about the Cosmog yet. Or Cosmo Wim. But we'll see. I need some more Psychic Energy still, for sure. But at least I do have Beware. So, assuming I make it through two paralysis two turns without paralysis I'll be fine and that's a hundred percent based on this coin flip and I've got say five turns of fake outs okay he's going to do that mm. I'll give you the cosmog sure you can take my cosmog it's all right uh, who's he gonna switch out to this okay it changes things a little bit, but not that much. Uh, Cosmog is one retreat cost. Not too bad. So I'm going to be able to do... Yeah, let's just go ahead, go with Beware. There's some more Psychic Energies, that's what I want to see. So I'm going to switch in on Runala there, and we're going to go for the Dangerous Blow. Now we can start really getting set up, which is great. He st she still does not have Curlia. I I'm so bad at gendering people, at least in video games. I don't pay as much attention to it. So, still no Curlia, which is great. We are totally totally set up. So as long as I keep drawing energies, Luna will be fine. I'm gonna go ahead. I will heal off that damage just to be safe, and because. There's almost never a great time to use the potion thing, so should be fine. But we're slowly coming back. I've got four prize cards. She has three. We could do this. We can do this. I was totally hoping that would be a psychic energy, but it is okay. It is okay. So, again, I've got five turns. As long as I am not paralyzed through four of them, we'll be okay. We can... Take out the Delcaddy. Or if I draw a Kukui, then I can for sure take out Delcaddy. So, okay, turn one. Cool. Let's go ahead and grab Hal. Hopefully, we can draw a Psychic Energy with that. We do. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm also going to get another Stuffle on the bench. I'm debating between the Salandit. Oh, wait, Stuffle's dead. Okay, so Salandit then. I was going to say Salandit or Stuffle. Stuffle I can draw three with Beware. Salandit I can have an emergency poison and burn in the back, which I think would be good. So, now I just have to not be paralyzed for four straight turns, which I think we can do. Lucky's on our side for that. Potion does not matter. 
uh, I still should do enough to take it out next turn. Assuming that she does not have another potion. So, finally gonna get the Curlia. Okay. I think it's a little too late now, though. Yeah, I think it's a little too late now. I can force her to play the Glade, use the Glade to take out my Beware, and then I bring in the Lunala and it's dead. But again, it's also assuming that I make it through the next four turns without paralyzing. For all four turns. Which should be fine. Uh, how many cards do I have? 26? 25? Yeah, we're safe to go for the Timer Ball. We're not going to be milled out. So I'm going to grab Cosmo M and Lunala just to have them in hand. And we will... Should I go for the Salazzle? Sal mm. It's really unlikely that we're going to get paralyzed for the next four turns. Next three turns now, actually. So I'm not going to go for the Salazzle. I was thinking maybe we could do that just as a in-case measure, but I think I'd rather do that on the Glade if that happens. I guess we'll see. Um, currently, Glade can do 60 to me. 80, technically, with Lunala. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're fine. We are fine and dandy. So, let's go ahead, go for the Dangerous Blow, destroy the Del Caddy. Glade is going to come in, do 80, take out my Beware, then I bring in Lunala, Glade is gone, and the rest of this should be a breeze after that. The rest of it should be a breeze. She has no other Pokemon set up. Not even a Ralts on the bench. Uh, Evo Soda is going to be fine. At most it can get a Swoobat. I know this deck doesn't have anything for Hoot Hoot. And yeah, so Glade will end me here. And that'll be fine. It still is weak to Psychic, right? Yes! I remembered that correctly. Fantastic. Okay. So now we clean up with Lunawa, which also, one thing that I do miss about the Pokemon card game, I just love the art. I wish I still had all of my Pokemon cards, it would be fantastic, but unfortunately, I do not. So, Shadow Shot, boom, by Gallade. Yes. When this deck works, it works so well. It's just, sometimes you brick, and that's the best thing you can do with your theme deck because it doesn't seem like there's any theme decks that are brick-proof, unfortunately. But that is just part of this format, I'm guessing. Which has been fantastic, though, for me as a player with not a whole lot of cards. It makes things a little easier on me. So, I'm gonna take 10. That is totally fine. Let's go ahead. Let's do Kukui. We still have plenty of cards. It should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and set the Cosmog there. And we'll slowly get it ready to Lunala, but I don't think it'll be necessary. We should finish every other Pokemon that comes out. So there's our other Stuffle. Cool, I thought I had three. I'm still not a master of this deck or anything. I think I've played like five games with it now. Okay. Here's the Milk Tank. I do enough, I do 120. So this game is pretty much cleared up, even with this, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to say the well played, just because this person is nice, and show that we have the stadium. Uh, I'll say they have a good deck, let's be nice. There we go. Okay. Good game. We did not break this time, which is fantastic. So, there's our victory. We got a little box. And the mystery reward was a ticket, which is fantastic. I can actually use that later on. And we got another... Oh, we did not get another pack. We have one to go. Okay. That is fine. So, I think we're going to do one more game. Uh, we're approaching 30 minutes now. And I kind of want to keep it around that time, because it makes it easy to just sit down and record during the day. And then it processes a little bit faster, so... We'll go ahead, we'll finish this game, and then we will open up some packs. So, I definitely want to go first. We're playing against the Mental Might deck again, which I think is just the best deck that new players can get without coins, but I definitely recommend saving up coins and then getting this one. Uh, this or the Clanging Thunder deck. The Clanging Thunder deck does seem pretty decent too, but 
I really like this deck, especially because I'm a fan of the Psychic Pokemon that you can just add energies to and it does a certain amount multiplied by the amount of energies you've got. Also kind of a fan of the Mega Gardevoir for that reason too, but I'm not a huge fan of fairies in general. I've been thinking about maybe building something like that though. I definitely want to rebuild Psychics and Dark Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon deck, so hopefully we will try to build something like that once I have the cards. But, this is quite a hand, by the way. But let's hope for the best. So, this is... Wow. Okay. Alright. This is fine. We are fine. This is like all the energies we have, right? We're not going to draw more energies. It'll be okay. This is not all the energies we have, but I I'm hoping. I'm wishful. Out of the next 43 cards that we draw some decent Pokemon. Or at least a beware. Yes! Okay. That's all I needed. That is all I needed. We're good. We're fine. By the time it becomes problematic for me to have just a beware, I should have other Pokemon. So this will be... This is fine. We are good. We're good. Alright. Drawing three cards. Let's go. Energy. Cosmog. Slander. Okay. I... I'm going to be honest, I totally thought it was going to be three more energies. I feel like that's just going to be my luck at some point. So, this guy can hit me with another beat. He's probably going to try to set up some new Pokemon. He is a guy. Cool, I'm not misgendering you. Great, thank you. Oh, I should say hello. Boom, hi. Welcome to the party. And the party is my big, giant teddy bear. With fists. Why? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Though, because he knows that... I guess he's banking on me not having energies, but I... Listen, friend. Friend. You should not bank on that. That is a bad bet to make right now. Dangerous blow. Let's go. So he's got no other energies on any of his Pokemon. We've set up quickly. Uh, and we should be fine. Even if he has the Glade in hand, he does not have enough time to really build it up with no energies. He's gonna have to hit what? Assuming he doesn't put an energy on this. I'm gonna knock it out this turn. So he's got one turn, two turns, times 20. He's only gonna be able to do 40 damage to me. He's, or times 30 maybe? Maybe it was 30. Either way, 40, 60 damage. Not gonna be enough to actually deal with my beware. Uh, so I think we just have this one. We've set up much quicker than he was able to. He has no energies on it. We are totally fine. Even with this massive amount of energies in hand. You do not need to see that on the thing. Can you go away? Yay. Okay. That was not the best play, I don't think. But, oh well. I'll just put an energy on Cosmog because we can. And we'll say goodbye to Woobat. And draw our prize card. Hello, Mimikyu. Okay. So... Four cards. If one of them is delayed, to be able to survive two turns with that, do maybe 30 damage, then do 60, does 90, still not enough. Let's see. If he doesn't evolve, then. Oh! Hello! I love these faces. Those faces are so cute. Okay. Well, thank you for the win. I'm glad that was actually a little bit quicker. So we can head on over to the packs. But as you can see, that's a pretty decent deck. It's just uh, occasionally you're going to brick with it. But you're going to brick with every deck. At some point or another. I just think they're much better than like this Hidden Depths deck. I'm not a fan of this one. But I am excited to get that Dark Right EX. Anyways, we're going to hop over to the collection now, open some packs, and I am going to talk to you guys and tell you how much I missed your beautiful faces. Because it has been a while. It has been a while since I actually did a video and was able to talk to people. Because the channel has been on and off dead for a good amount of time. Ooh, that is a pretty Dragonair. And what are we going to get? A Palo Sand. Well, Sand takes 20 less damage. Okay, not bad, not bad. Dark Tricks, I've heard the... Wow, I can't remember his name. I can't remember the Evolution Dark Tricks. I just called him Mr. Queen through my entire playthrough. Oh, man. 
Moreni. For Brawler. Okay. I need to play... I'm glad we got a Nest Ball, by the way. I needed that. But... I need to play more Sun and Moon. As soon as I'm able to actually get Ultra Sun and Moon, I will probably be playing that more often. Other news, though. My 3DS with, with the capture card died a little bit ago. I think I mentioned it on Tumblr, but I didn't mention it here. Um, it decided to take a dip with the humidifier water. Ooh, oh, yes! That is beautiful! Oh, I wanted to build a Guzzlord deck. Okay. That is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh. That makes me happy. That makes me happy inside my soul. Okay. I don't even care about the rest of these cards now. We got the Guzzlord. Full art! Yes! Beautiful. I think I've gotten one other GX, a Gardevoir GX or something like that, in the first couple packs I've opened here. We got a Hakamo and the Jangmo. Cool. But not much else, but that's okay. Because now we are getting all of the luck, and there's going to be more packs and more good stuff that I will open at some point. I need to get into the tournaments. Uh, probably this week, because I think there's theme for the tokens this week. Oh, they made the Quagar border, or Trubbish, Trubbish, wow. I know my Pokemon. Hello, Machamp, okay. Machamp and Hoshko, wow, look at that art. Oh, that's so beautiful, that's so beautiful. A choice band too, I needed that, because I don't actually have any choice bands, which is fantastic. Uh, we've got four of the breaks point. I kind of want to leave that for last just because we have the most of them. Ariel pulled... My girlfriend Ariel today pulled the freaking Full Art Volcanion EX, I think. It was just gorgeous. Ooh, Zygarde. Zygarde Doggo. Altaria, Spirit Link, Moltres, Fairy Drop. Ooh, Fairy Drop's not bad. If I do build the Fairy Deck, I will use that. Gothita is really pretty. And... That's about it. Okay. What else we got? But assuming that I'm actually consistent and actually make more videos after this, which I should, then you should be getting a video at least once a week, hopefully. And then maybe just the like more uh, difficult ones to edit, maybe once every month or two. I don't really know. I'm going to have two days off during the week, but otherwise I work like... I think only five hours a day, so I still should be able to do stuff. Ooh, shift trees, dark and grass. Okay, doesn't seem too good, but it's kind of cool. Ninja Boy, what do you do? Super deck for basic Pokemon, switch it with that. Eh. That's okay. Might be decent for like a quick switcheroo, but I feel like there's probably better trainers to put in. Anyways, on to the brink point. We got that Hone Edge, Drowsy, Siglith, Wapras. Ooh. We got Greninja, nice. If we want to build the Greninja break deck. And Regalge, okay. Okay. These are cool. We got three more. There's probably an open and other thing. I think I remember seeing that button. I should probably just click that so I don't keep bringing myself back to that page. Oh, I love this Chikorita. This art is just so good. So good. There is so... Oh my god. Oh, I was just talking about getting the Dark Rye EX. Now we're gonna have a full art of it. Attack there's 20 more damage for each Dark Energy attached to all your Pokemon. Oh. I cannot wait to build the Dark deck. This is gonna be great. Oh, Guzzlord and Dark Rye in the same... Mm. It makes me so darn happy, you guys. It makes me really, really happy. <laughs> oh, this is great. Froki, the Spritzy. This is a Spirit Link, Delinquent. Ooh, nice little reverse hollow over Tata. And the Raticate to go with it, okay. And I finally remembered to actually click the open another part this time. We got another one of those Chikoritas. I will just gladly take all of those. We got Zebstrika and Gold Duck, okay. Let's see. Definitely just open the sleep. He needs. Okay. What's Misty's determination do? Hmm. Not a bad card. Okay. Cool. 
So I am just darn happy with that. I want to go take a look at them real quick while we wrap up this video. I am already in the collection. Okay, filters. Where's the thing? Pokemon GX EX. I don't have that many, so there we go. There's that beautiful Darkrai EX. That's the Gardevoir one I told you about, and the beautiful Guzzlin. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, all that standard YouTube junk and stuff. Hopefully, I will see seeing you guys very soon, and maybe by the time I see you next for Pokemon, I'll have the Dark Deck set up. I don't know if I will, but let's hope for the best. If not, then I'll probably just have the Clanging Thunder theme deck, and we'll play around with that. That being said, hope you guys have a good day. Good week, good life, now. Goodbye.